Uh, Amsterdam was born as a city, as an uh, international uh, port. Yeah. Actually, there was, uh, uh, with London, actually, with the British Empire, was uh, one of a big empire that was uh, going back and forth. Uh, was born as a crossing ways, mm -hmm. and uh, actually, of course, where there are uh, sailors with money, started with prostitution. Sure. Uh, you remember the church where we found, uh, where we met? Yeah. This is Ode called Kirk. Ode Kirk, that is, yeah. means uh, old church, it's and it's uh, been ah, built ah, there ah, in ah, order ah, to ah, stop ah, prostitution. Ah, Okay. It didn't work. So and the prostitution was there first. Yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> the, 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 the prostitute was here first, and they tried to uh, to make this uh, this church in order to bring some uh, yeah. decent life, uh, yeah. and they failed totally. So they had lots of randy priests <laughs> running around the place. But now <laughs> it came the best. On the 13th century, they decided to make it legal, and uh, the uh, the prostitutes uh, or the where are the uh, tenants? Had to go to the priest in order to have uh, the extension from the scene for a certain point, uh, for, for a certain period, for example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you will be, yes, you will be free of sin for one week. So for the week, uh, they could uh, do everything uh, because they were very Catholic, and uh, of course they had to pay. Yes, it, we are talking about Catholic Church. <laughs> and uh, actually, these. Uh, <laughs> you kind of have to respect them for that, don't you, really? <laughs> actually, I'm Italian, so I have a Catholicism in my vein and uh, I hate it. Uh, Italy is a wonderful place with a big cancer inside uh, that yeah. is called City of Vatican. Yeah, yeah. I love the Pope, but uh, the church by itself. Uh, is not good. We understand. We're, we're from Ireland, so you don't have to tell us. You don't have to tell us. <laughs> That's that. true as well. Yeah, actually, I think that uh, uh, we are spoiled as well, uh, like you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, ah, yes. 13th century became legal, and actually, and uh, this bring uh, a new uh, way of uh, uh, using prostitution. First of all, is not so bad the scene as in other countries. Here is normal. In fact, that you can find that during the Saturday morning and the Sunday and the Friday and Saturday morning, you can see even school that passing by in the red light because uh, they have to spend one lesson about sexual stuff, and so they check out the red lights uh, this week in, in the city, wow. and they have to spend one lesson about talking about drugs in the schools. So you can see sometimes uh, the school. Wow. Uh, the fact that now is so clean and everything is perfect is because they started so early. All these girls are self-employed. They pay about from uh, 50 to 150 uh, of renting for one day, eight hours of window. And uh, normally you pay from uh, 50 to 70 euro uh, for uh, uh, the, what they call second fuck. I mean, 50 minutes because they are very good. In 50 minutes you're done. Uh, blow job and a uh, fuck. Normally with a brown. You have always to contract the price when you get in because it's not really, they just fuck and suck. Maybe they are totally covered and uh, uh, you cannot take pictures and there is a very intense uh, security system uh, you see all these uh, windows on the back of the window there is uh, a corridor that connects all the, all the, all the rooms if they, they see him, they hear some scream or, the, or she hits a bomb by hidden button so arrives immediately two or three giant men break, break and uh, send you out in fact uh, if you pass, pass the night here sometimes you hear hey, people that uh, and uh, if they send up from here, normally they finish in the canal. <laughs> <laughs> so, so do they have to pay a tax to the government? Yes, of course. So they, they pay taxes. Uh, yeah. And uh, they actually, uh, the taxes of the marijuana and taxes of prostitution have uh, too big revenues, especially for Amsterdam City. That's why these places are not closed. Uh, okay. Because they make a lot of money. Okay. Here there are girls that came here for making six or eight months of prostitution and then they pay uh, five years of university. Because uh, if you think, uh, 15 minutes, let's uh, have uh, three clients uh, per hour. Eight hours is uh, 150 per eight hours is already 1,000 in a day. Then Honestly, tax on this. Uh, yes, of course. Yeah. But uh, uh, even uh, taxes, uh, because you, of course you can say, okay, I've done 10, 10 customers, instead you have 30. Yeah, yeah. It's like the coffee shop, the coffee shop as well. They pay taxes, but there is no registry. And I will explain you later how okay. it works. Uh, but yeah. there is a register. So they can say, I just sold one kilo of weed, instead they sold three kilos, because there yeah. is no register of yeah. coming, yeah. no register of coming. Okay. They yeah. can tell whatever they want. But since it's working good for the society... What do... 
ordinary Amsterdam people think of all this? I mean, actually, it's normal. It's like a, a sign of a, a sign of a, on the corner because it's perfectly normal. Okay. And it's normal, for example, to have a, a neighborhood that uh, is a hooker. Yeah. Is uh, here. In fact. Uh, mm, uh, think that uh, this uh, uh, thing that I was telling you about, uh, that uh, the drug user is not uh, uh, seen as a, as a um, criminal, yeah. it works even for the prostitutes. They are no, they are making maybe an uncomfortable job, but not a dirty job, like in the, all the other places. Yes. Okay. And with the systems, okay, you have people, of course, here there is uh, lots of noise, people uh, uh, horny and uh, back. But this way, I don't know how it is in your places, but in Italy, uh, prostitution is not legal, but you find hookers on the road. Yeah. There are people that uh, stop on the verge of the road, there are accidents, there are uh, public uh, disturbance and everything. And this is absolutely brings up more uh, criminality. Sure. This way, of course, I think that there are some of them are spoiled or exploited by some other people. But uh, almost the 70% of uh, prostitutes yeah. here are here for their will, okay. not because they have been imported and forced to prostitute. Right, yeah, yeah. It's the best of what you can and do. And what, what percentage yeah. of them are from 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 the Netherlands? Uh, actually, from this point of view, I don't know because there is no registry. There are the guilds, uh, but they, they give you no information. Give yeah. uh, some ideas that uh, uh, are normally in your country here are totally normal. Right. Okay. okay. I guess in, I guess with this these kind of systems, like with with the the, the shop closed it can change very quickly all the time you know yes uh, because uh, okay for um, uh, even the, um, the windows are under the um, supervision of the measure they can uh, reduce or enlarge the red light the, the red red is it on uh, his wheel it's just oh, okay. enough that it just uh, when a windows finishes license it doesn't renew it okay and so okay. in yeah. fact uh, uh, there was a lot more windows around here okay. now if you go uh, later we'll uh, we we'll make around when you come back okay. uh, in one of my favorite spots because there are models yeah you do it really it's a place where the, you don't have to go there stop recording <laughs> <laughs> you are uh, married Cigarette. <laughs> oh, only cigarettes. Things are killing Tobacco. Me. That's the worst. <laughs> yes, I know. But it's uh, one of the things that I cannot quit. <laughs> Tobacco, weed, uh, and girls. Okay. Coffee shops. I told you in 1976, uh, the Netherlands decided to make this division. Yeah. Hard drugs and soft drugs. And for the soft drugs, they created these places that are called coffee shops. You can, uh, uh, in these places, it was and is allowed to consume and sell weed. Yeah. While outside, uh, in the city, is not absolutely... Uh, allowed uh, or uh, permitted to sell or consume weed. Here in the center of Amsterdam, if you go around with a joint in the street, they don't tell you nothing because you are in the center of the earth. Just go in another place or just outside Amsterdam with a joint, if you cross a cops, uh, they stop you, they give you a fine. Because you're not a criminal. You're doing something bad because it's uh, for a public nuisance, but you're not a criminal, they just give you a fine and uh, do the joint. The coffee shop, uh, actually, since they work outside the law, since the cannabis is illegal, and this is uh, absolutely true, uh, they work in uh, the so-called gray zone. That okay. it means a uh, gray zone is uh, a gray zone that is between legal and illegal. Okay. The police knows, but don't care. There is uh, uh, the backdoor policy. I mean that uh, they, of course, they cannot uh, uh, buy weed from anybody because yeah. growing weed for selling is, a, is an offense yeah. and it's a very big offense if uh, you can grow by yourself until uh, up to five plants yeah. in an apartment okay. on the sixth plant you could be arrested usually they take you away the plants and they, they they let you go because anyway it's low priority weed and ashes since they don't make a real damage to the society okay. and to the people yeah. they are not taking care if you are talking about hard drugs, they find you uh, with a personal dose of hard drugs. They take it away and they let you go. Hard dose, about two or three grams of cocaine or heroin, uh, they give you a fine. Uh, if you have more, they can give you dealing, uh, dealing charges. Okay. okay. And uh, uh, actually, how it works a coffee shop? There are growers that actually usually are connected to the health angels or uh, to uh, smugglers okay. that uh, grow in uh, apartment a number, a huge number of plants and they sell it to the coffee shop from the so-called back door. This is the, the famous back door when they call, they speak about the 
back door of a coffee shop is this system that okay. uh, from the back door arrive a guy that is called runner yeah. with his bag full of weed and the yeah. half a kilo of this half a kilo of this and half a kilo of this the coffee sh- uh, if you are a private you can go around the, in the city with five grams of weed uh, top without uh, any problem mm. the coffee shop can have uh, a maximum of uh, 500 grams uh, in the uh, in the, uh, in, the, in the place uh, and uh, in the place point. related okay. so even the place where the coffee shop owner is living okay so uh, in fact uh, sometimes when they want to close a coffee shop they make a raid uh, in the coffee shop uh, in the place of, uh, of a guy and everything is related yeah, and even yeah, find yeah. even one gram more yeah they're done closed okay, okay. and uh, uh, yeah. now in many car- in many side. cities outside uh, uh, Amsterdam mm-hmm. is required uh, to be a resident okay. in order to enter into a coffee shop. Oh, really? Okay. Yes, uh, especially on the south, because this is, a, is intended as a measure in order to stop uh, the smuggling uh, for to Belgium, Germany and France. So we, we couldn't enter that place? Huh? We We're not residents, so we, we can't go in no, there. No. Here in Amsterdam, they don't ask you. The, the, the minimum uh, uh, that you must be of legal age of 18. Okay. Yeah. The coffee shop ro- uh, runs with five golden rules. No hard drugs. Yeah. No people under 18. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry because no I more than 500 grams. <laughs> no more than 500 grams uh, in total. Yeah. Uh, no weapons. Uh, no, no weapons. I already told that. No. I can't uh, start to be tired. Eh? Uh, it's okay. It's okay. No, 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 well, no under 18. No, no alcohol. No alcohol. Yes, 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 yes. They asked for beer last night. No, so exactly, we exactly. No. And this is a <laughs> but, there are bars, <laughs> yeah, but you know what? There is a trick that, uh, for example, there is a bar that uh, has a near coffee shop. Together with a coffee shop, you go into the bar and have your joint with oh, your beer, okay. your Jägermeister, or your. Actually, it's the bar where there, there is the option that you can have uh, uh, joints as well. Oh, okay, okay. But okay. this is actually uh, an exception to the rule uh, because yeah. uh, they can get a fine uh, if they right. come in inside. Uh, because uh, we still adhere to the European law that actually all the places are not smoking okay. and you oh, have to have geez. a place for smoking area but yeah, uh, yeah. some bars just yeah. don't give a shit uh, sometimes you have just to chip in 10 cents in order so when they come and they get the fine they already have no they already have a little wow. yeah, okay. exactly, they have a, uh, exactly. Uh, yeah. interesting That's and uh, if uh, they uh, fail in any of these five rules the premises is closed immediately Okay. No mercy about that. They, uh, in fact, uh, there is, this is another thing that makes this thing work. Mm. You have boundaries in which you can do whatever you want. Just step outside these boundaries, they are yeah. going to yeah, hit you so very, it's kind of like hard. self-placing then, the, 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 the no. No, no, exactly. Yeah. But, uh, for example, even for drug artists, uh, junkies of heroin, uh, some people that are in a certain state that are really very addicted, uh, you know, old uh, and this kind of stuff, and they, they have no money, they normally give a house and some money for living and the drug and the heroin uh, for daily dose if they have a caught in doing something illegal but even I don't know sleeping uh, on the street or this kind of stuff uh, they lost, uh, lose all their privileges okay. Okay. this way they are actually motivated binding, yeah motivating yeah, yeah. them in order to behave Set rules and uh, in this way many of uh, junkies uh, are actually have uh, so, an active social life they have uh, their good job they pay the taxes they have uh, yeah some people that and they meet uh, they are kind of normal people oh. and uh, from from my point of view this is incredibly is quite a miracle because really heroin is one of the most disrupted yeah. drugs that i ever seen places are the first source for help and treatment for uh, the heroin user. They have a very high percentage of people that are recovering yeah, yeah. without uh, falling back. Are people sleeping up there? Uh, on, the, on the last one there are uh, a restroom. They cannot sleep all the night because it's okay. not an hostel, but there are hostels all around the city, even for junkies that uh, they have to go here in order to do the stuff and then for sleeping they have to go for example uh, so, uh, if, near the central station but if, they, if something bad happens I mean there's a hospital, there's medical oh, no, of course no there is a, there is a residence of medical okay. uh, there is a uh, actually the lady on the first floor that is the one that is handling uh, and uh, um, sending the people yeah. this room that room was uh, an exactly that after an, 25 uh, after 25 uh, years of addiction wow. he give up and uh, he recovered completely, went in a community in the south of uh, the Netherlands, that came back and she started to volunteer here, now it's okay. five years. Can I bring that back to the first 
the, the church of yeah. A- Akawas- Ayahuasca. Many, many people say that Akawasca is... Ayahuasca, like, Ayahuasca. Sorry, I'm not... No, 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 but uh, it was difficult for me as well because but it's an uh, Inca, <laughs> Inca word. So many people say that that's a, that's a pretty good way of getting off uh, heroin. And hard yes, drugs. absolutely. Because it's a shock to the system. Yes, uh, I, mean, I mean, I don't know. No, no, I mean, no, absolutely. There are many people that use it, but this is uh, is, uh, is not related to the religion, because uh, the religion is one thing. Uh, they do you do all this yeah, kind of stuff. So I'm just wondering, like, has that idea been not yet? Uh, not, not, not yet. They are using a methadone program in order to, uh, yeah, to escalate it, it but uh, yeah. the, lately they because they some countries are thinking about that. I know, like yes, but uh, there, there, but uh, there is the, the, the problem of uh, mental uh, mental state. Uh, usually, an addict is not uh, mentally straight. Okay. Yeah, in yeah, order sure. to have this kind of a psychedelic experience, you have uh, you must have an inner balance that is yeah powerful. quite strong. Yeah. Yes, yeah. And, and this is why actually they don't. Okay, I want to be do a ayahuasca, yeah. and they are making I don't know the right after two months. Is the priest that decides when you're ready? Okay, because yeah. sees you yeah. that you're in the about uh, yeah. Okay, now you're ready. Yeah, yeah. Even if you have problem, because uh, many people really they solve the problem during during this trip. Is uh, uh, actually is a sort of ca- very similar to the right of the coming of age of uh, of the Indians of the sure. Incas of the Maya yeah. that yeah. you do this in t- very intense experience yeah. that makes you n- know yourself very well. And actually, I think that uh, this is the real trick in uh, the ayahuasca. I mean, that you uh, have a self-knowledge, uh, and uh, actually, I can tell you that... And humility, uh, self-humility, yeah. maybe, is it? Uh, more than humility. You, are, you know more, uh, uh, you can accept your, uh, your limits. Yeah. And uh, uh, honestly, everybody takes drugs. Uh, me, as the first person that I smoke, uh, and I did uh, lots of ecstasy, mm. amphetamine, so, uh, and uh, lots of trips yeah, yeah. in the past, uh, is because I was not comfortable with my limits, with my, yeah, the yeah. part of myself sure, that I didn't sure. like it. Yeah. And uh, the trip, sometimes, if it's done uh, in a proper way, can help you uh, like that. Mm. The ayahuasca treatment that you're talking about uh, is uh, actually is more shocking. Uh, and this is why it's uh, still controversial, because uh, it's really like if you're ice bucket yeah. uh, in the face it of somebody. It is kind of a shock thing. Yes, isn't exactly. It, yeah. But there is the risk that, okay, yeah. you give up with heroin, but you give up even with social life. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. In fact, uh, the psychedelics, uh, uh, some kind of, some class of psychedelics, LSD, Morning Glory or the Hawaiian baby wood rose that are hallucinogenic and seeds and ayahuasca must be treated very very carefully yeah. mm-hmm. because if you do the wrong steps you're fine yeah. totally wow <laughs> And they was conning you in incredible way. Uh, even now, if you go around there and back and forth, you will hear somebody pss, pss, and this kind of as soon as you hear, coke and this kind of stuff. Uh, my suggestion is never take this kind of stuff because they always con you. Uh, you can get for coke lidocaine that actually is an aesthetic uh, very similar on the, on the scene if you try that uh, you know that cocaine uh, an a- is an aesthetic if you do like yeah. this uh, will uh, you will uh, your mouth sure, will sure. disappear yeah, yeah. the same uh, with lidocaine but uh, it doesn't do nothing and uh, there is uh, I'm going to show you okay these are one of the most famous pills sold uh, by for ecstasy. You see there is an S. Yeah. They are triangle. Okay. These are fake because they are this uh, one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they are sold even now. Eh? Okay. Yeah, yeah. For for doing that I can, you see that uh, because these are given by the police. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. I can show you the lidocaine as well. Okay. That uh, is this one. <laughs> this is lidocaine. It's used by the dentist okay. for uh, anesthetizing your mouth okay. and uh, is uh, sold by coke. Okay, as coke, yeah. Yes, as okay. if you're lucky. Because sure, sure. Uh, the, if you're lucky, you can just get this stuff that uh, doesn't really harm you too much. Yeah, yeah. If you're unlucky, you can... Uh, so how much, how much would one of those be then? Huh? If they were selling them? Uh, uh, 10 euro, 12 euro. Okay, wow. Yeah. Yes, we're uh, with uh, they can have a field 1. Yeah, 1. Yeah, 1. Yeah. 1.1 euro expansion, yeah. you, uh, and there are 15, uh, 15 yeah. pills inside, so just make a calculation. 
Yeah, there are people that uh, make a living uh, just calling the tourist. Okay. That'd be an easy kind of thing to do, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if there's a lot of tourists coming here. I mean, I would, I would feel that, I mean, I know that people are walking around. I see a lot of people walking around completely spaced out. Do people fall into the canal on a regular basis? Yes, uh, uh, mostly tourists. <laughs> and because they are doing yeah, psychedelics. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I work in a smart shop during the day and uh, we sell uh, truffles, psychedelic truffles. There okay. are, there's one that gives you lots of hallucination. Okay. And believe me that I really strongly believe that 80% of people that fall in the canal are because of uh, these mushrooms. Yeah, and do you feel a lot of people die in the canal? Uh, not dying, but getting bad diseases because uh, actually it's not clean, this water. You can uh, have uh, from, uh, from uh, rats, uh, rats uh, uh, leptospirosis, uh, you yeah, yeah. Uh, surely for uh, skin uh, yeah, yeah. disease. Uh, yeah. uh, you can have uh, the liver hepatitis. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, you, you came inside yeah, yeah. healthy, you came out very, very yeah, good. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. But the stats are good, obviously. You're going to show us some impressive stats. Yes, exactly, because um, <laughs> the check out. This is uh, in the US uh, and in the Netherlands. People that use uh, once or more cannabis or, uh, or cocaine yeah. once in their life. Yeah. In the US, 14, uh, 14%. In the yeah, Netherlands, just 22%. In, uh, is the half. Uh, and we are talking about residents that try yeah, yeah. at least once. Uh, for cocaine, 13% against 3.4. Yeah. This means that actually this policy keeps away the people that are not really intended to be making drugs to starting with the drugs. Because here you have so many opportunities and alternatives. You don't want to take the, the access. There yeah. are many apps that uh, can boost you up. Uh, you don't want uh, to uh, take the heroin or the opium. Yeah. There are the kratom that makes the same effect, uh, but it's totally legal. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And is not addictive. Okay. This policy gives the people the choice. Yeah. And yeah. actually, uh, since uh, they are making even a big uh, education on the schools about the danger of drugs, yeah. uh, it's very unlikely that uh, somebody goes on cocaine on a rest or but as you can see from this uh, this thing uh, you can see even that uh, is working and check it out, this out in the Europe mm. this is the, the, the number uh, of problematics for uh, drug users in yeah. the EU yeah, yeah. Uh, believe me that uh, actually is uh, curious that the UK is uh, on top resident and tourist junkies that they have here but since yeah. here they have uh, places where to go, yeah. you cannot see it. And so you can walk uh, around yeah, yeah. freely. You're not scared about somebody that comes out with a syringe because yeah, yeah. Uh, beside that, uh, check out that uh, everywhere you look, uh, there is Surveillance. a camera. Okay. Mm. For one camera that you see, there are three that you don't see. Mm. Okay. So yeah. uh, here, in fact, uh, this is a uh, uh, third or fourth yeah. uh, place uh, in Europe after London. Okay. What is Tujon? Tujon is, is yes, is uh, the active component of uh, absinthe. And is it the name of a molecule or something? Uh, it's the name of a substance. Oh, substance. Yes, okay. it's okay. taken out from uh, the wormwood uh, plant that is distilled. Okay. And that is a psychoactive component yeah. that uh, uh, open your mind in, in uh, high quantities gives you yeah. hallucination. Okay. Okay. But if when he was doing uh, when he was doing absinthe in the old times, yeah. uh, I mean uh, 17th century, 18th century, the distillation was not perfect, it was producing another element uh, yeah. that was uh, connecting with your uh, brain cells and was making them stop uh, communicating each other, was stopping the synapses. Okay. Free the absinthe. These are some of the paintings that has been inspired by absinthe. This is one of the most famous that is called the Muse. In fact, uh, uh, I did uh, absinthe, I make electronic music. Uh, yeah. When I was making a bottle of absinthe, I was making an album in one night. Okay. <laughs> Maybe it was shit, but I loved it, but yeah, it was yeah, 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 yeah. uh, you, you had a lot of energy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> this was the third okay, night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fair enough. And uh, the last statistic, this is how the Dutch uh, think about the, peri uh, the danger of a drug. Yeah. They make a scale. They made a scale of nine points for the personal damage and seven points for the damage to the society. As you can see, the alcohol is the worst. It's the worst, yeah. Yeah, because uh, actually yeah, it's uh, very wide. Uh, it's used by everybody. Yeah. There is no advertising and no education about that. Uh, yeah. in, and check out uh, the less problematic is yeah, the mushroom. Wow, that has okay. a six scales for the yeah. uh, society problem because when you are in mushrooms, the yeah, truffles, yeah. you make noise. But that's yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm interested to see what all these things are. Heroin and Obviously, cocaine, yeah. just uh, alcohol is the first. Yeah, Heroin, yeah, and cocaine. Then you have uh, the methadone, the cocaine. Cannabis is quite high, actually. Tobacco. Yeah, tobacco, of course. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cannabis is quite high, actually. Benzodiazepine, that are the, I don't know, the antidepressive stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Yeah, and but it kind of makes sense. I mean, I think uh, that list makes sense. LSD and uh, this one, no personal harm. Really? LSD? I would have thought LSD, you can have a bad trip and you can... Yeah, no, you but can mental. Mentally, yeah. Yes, yeah, so, but... Uh, well, it's for physical, then. Hmm? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. No, no, in fact, uh, this is... Uh, this is to show how it's working. Yeah. yeah and yeah. this is why these are uh, legal here. One in all over Europe are not legal. And uh, the alcohol that is the worst is legal everywhere. It's, yeah, it's actually uh, yeah, yeah. A bush from my point of view. Yeah, yeah. If uh, the countries just put some more alcohol education, because alcohol is wonderful, like any kind of substance, yeah, yeah. if it's done sure, sure. in a certain way and uh, with the right way, it's a great thing. Sure. But uh, if you abuse it, you can have lots of problems. Yeah. And actually, there are lots of dead uh, for uh, uh, alcohol. Not a single death for weed. Yeah. Not uh, direct related. Uh, there are uh, some uh, accidents, uh, car accidents, or this kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, people, for, for sure. example, uh, fall into the canal. Yeah, yeah, people yeah. that during the, here during the winter, they got stoned, they, they fall asleep. asleep and freeze to death. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And these are related, but uh, not directly related. Sure. Yeah. And uh, this is why this is a free. Yeah. yeah. Anybody rallying against this in Holland, in the uh, Netherlands? Is there mm. any? Groups that are against all these. Uh, yes, baby, because there are always people that won't like uh, the fact that uh, you have the freedom to do whatever you want. But they are shut down by the results. Uh, because believe me, that when they started to apply this policy and the social study on it, uh, mm. because it's not enough that you divide the market, you have to take care of the people that anyway will do hard drugs no matter what, uh, because they will do it anyway. You can put them in jail and they are going to get the drugs in the jail. You can make them fine and they're going to steal. Mm. And besides that, with all this kind of stuff, there is a uh, lot of well, small crime. What about local residents, though? I mean, mm, the local residents I mean, around here mainly are, uh, tur are not tourists, okay. are uh, expats. Okay. Like me. But uh, for the locals, uh, actually, they have no problem. And besides that, uh, Amsterdam is one city. Yeah. The Netherlands is totally different. Yeah. They are on the south more open, on the north they are closed and very racist. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> in fact, there is no coffee shop in every city. Yeah. Because if the mayor doesn't want it, because the, the people doesn't want it, no coffee shop okay. in the city. Okay. So it's uh, but uh, the much the majority of Dutch uh, doesn't give a shit about weed okay. because they are so used. Yeah. If everybody smoking, drunk, having party, yeah. and this is strange, but it works. Yeah. In fact, uh, there are, uh, uh, for example, in the bars where they sell alcohol, there are about uh, 1,000 calls uh, of the police a month. Yeah. We are about two calls of police a month in the coffee shop. Because anyway, mm, uh, cannabis is a, uh, is a drug that makes you more relaxed, yeah. while alcohol makes you... Uh, I can tell you that, uh, talking about governments, uh, yeah. UK and uh, the United States are against and uh, criticizing this, uh, this kind yeah. of policy a lot. Uh, but uh, uh, here in Europe, uh, they start into, there start to be a change of thinking. I mean, that uh, they start to get used to the idea that uh, weed and ashes are not so dangerous as they can think. That they are really the first step to hard drugs if you don't separate the, the markets. Yeah. And uh, in the US, Colorado, yeah, uh, states, yeah. Fl Florida, in the California yeah. and Washington, yeah. now they can sell weed. Yeah. Colorado made in one month yeah. of selling yeah. weed as many taxes as they was doing uh, in one city for the commercial premises. Yeah. Right. One month yeah. and they went to the school. I mean, the, just think about that. The market, the illegal market, that there are with some, some kind of substances that are not harmful. So it's stupid that they are illegal. Stupid from, but not from a point of view, from an objective point of view. Yeah. Because if you make the alcohol legal, that is very dangerous. Why the weed that actually is not so dangerous? Yeah. How long have you been doing this? Um, uh, tour? This is now a six month, but I'm doing research for three months because now we are expanding. Uh, okay. Okay. And they give me some materials. I started okay. to expand it. Okay. And uh, in fact, uh, even now is uh, still a growing creature yeah. because we are asking for permission from the police and the government in order yeah. to have uh, access, access. To, uh, to more information and to yeah. some uh, uh, person. Because, for yeah. example, we would like uh, to make an interview and make it on paper yeah. in order yeah. to make it available to our tourists 
for uh, the, uh, drug users, okay. uh, the injection room uh, yeah, uh, yeah. people, for yeah. example, yeah. or from somebody from the ayahuasca. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, in order to do that, we need uh, some permission because okay. Uh, okay. Actually we want to do the stuff in a correct way. Yeah, yeah. And we have a private tool that, as you can see, you can ask everything and uh, we can make a different. And we have sure. uh, on Friday the uh, fixed tool that is free yeah, on yeah. tip basis, yeah. of course, uh, which I always, because yeah. we have some, I don't know, a group that is just mocha, so we talk about the coffee shop, a group that is just drinker, so we talk about the cocktails, the absinthe, yeah, yeah. the way yeah. that you, uh, the hangover information, the talk, the talk yeah, yeah. so on. So it's, uh, actually, I can tell you that uh, I'm very proud of this small creature that is growing because I noticed that uh, it's good because we are telling people how is the real stuff. Yeah, yeah reality. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, yeah. believe me that there are lots of myths yeah. about sure, this sure, city. Sure. And yeah. some are true. 